We all know that the bigger a company is, usually the more scandals it goes through. The thing is though, usually no matter how catastrophically damaging these scandals are, they don't really ever affect the company for more than probably a day or two. One thing that comes to mind is how Apple owed $113 million because it was essentially proven that they were downgrading older phones, making them slower to force people to buy newer models. Now, $113 million, life-changing money. That isn't like, there are some people that win the lottery and they don't win that amount of money. The problem is, this is Apple, a company that generates revenue of 152 billion a day. So in comparison, 113 million, it's just chump change. It's essentially what Apple found behind the sofa. But we're not talking about that. Today, we're talking about the Swedish music streaming giant, Spotify, where you can listen to a variety of artists like Drake, or fart sound effects, which are essentially the same thing. Now, I don't even need to tell you how big Spotify is, but I'm gonna do it anyway to pad out the runtime. They've got about 433 million active users each month. And one thing I personally love about Spotify is how at the end of every year, you get Spotify wrapped, which everyone hates and no one shares because usually you are going through a dark, depressing time, some kind of breakup or something like that. And the majority of what you listened to that year was very less sad music. The thing is about Spotify wrapped, everyone is pretty much always embarrassed about what they listen to and they don't want to share it. That is unless they listen to Blady or Death Grips because they are sociopaths. Sociopath gang, rise up. But now Spotify has fallen into a bit of hot water and exposed by none other than Reddit. And, and of course it was Reddit that exposed them. Like who else would it be? Reddit probably has the highest ratio demographic of armchair therapists that go around trying to dox people's home address. Now this was posted a month ago and it's already amassed a lot of awards. For example, the Reddit gold, something that every Redditor covets and the helpful award. I, I wanna do this little tangent about like Reddit awards. They are the worst thing to ever come out of Reddit. Why I don't like awards is because no one ever uses them properly. If you see any kind of national tragedy, you'll see someone ironically gifting the Wholesome Seal Award. Oh, what's that? A, a ballistic missile just killed 11 children. I'm gonna send the, the Handshake Award and then some Reddit silver to finish it off. What's that? Your family member died and you're talking about it on Reddit? All right, give, give him the Wholesome Chonker Award. <laughs> I'm being honest here. I think the only people that actually use Reddit awards the proper way are people that buy ad space on Reddit and they gift themselves awards to trick you into thinking it isn't an ad, but an actual Reddit post. Anyway, this big Reddit expose was titled, I took a deep dive into a strange Spotify scam involving fake artists and fake collaborations. Here's what I found. So apparently this guy runs a music blog in his spare time and he noticed this very bad trend on Spotify. So on Spotify, you have the release radar page, which is essentially an algorithm that caters towards your preferences, artists that you listen to, and then Spotify will try and make a playlist based around your preferences. And if anyone's wondering, yes, this is the same algorithm that shilled Drake to everyone for a week straight. This release radar playlist is basically curated every week and then given to you to listen to. It works about 2% of the time. Now, what this proud Redditor does is he shows exhibit A, which is a verified artist on Spotify. You can see by the little blue tick next to the name. And the name they run under is Roman GWAP. If you listen to the music, it's some pretty generic R&B and trap, like, like no, nothing out of this world. And this artist has 80,000 monthly listeners and 100,000 Spotify streams a month, which for a mid-range artist, that's really good for Spotify standards. Now, everything here seems totally fine. Small artist made some mid stuff, blew up. You know, it's, it's whatever. It's a dime a dozen. But then Rent, the Reddit user, gives another example, example Example two, if you go down into this artist's individual tracks, you'll see that they're collabing with huge artists like White Lies and Klaxons. I mean, it's irrelevant if you like don't know who they are. Essentially, the point is these are people, artists, who get millions of streams a month compared to, you know, 80 to 100,000. So what this Reddit user essentially found out is that this is complete BS and a total scam. These random like ghost artists will pop up out of nowhere, use music that isn't theirs from a bigger artist, and then say it was a collab so Spotify then promotes it to you, therefore giving that artist more promotion, and then they get royalties, so they'll get money from it. The big thing to point out here, in reality, there is no collab. They're just making these incredibly mid beats, and then they just slap a really big artist's name onto it. And the problem is then that Radar, you know, playlist I talked about earlier that's curated to people you listen to, if you listen to one of these bigger artists, which there's a higher chance that you do, you'll then be shielded this like 
complete trap garbage. This Reddit post even gives examples and screenshots of how these small artists like Roman G. Wap, these, these like ghost writers, they will essentially be stuck next to the bigger artists. So if you look up a bigger artist's profile on Spotify, you'll then see Roman G. Wap with like seven followers. Now, the most damning reason as to why these artists are probably fake is because there's just no proof that they exist at all. Most of these artists have some kind of paper trail, you know, maybe like an old Twitter or a similar name that they ran under. But these guys have nothing. They have no social media presence. They pop into existence, suddenly collab with like Kanye and Drake, and then they'll be bumped up to the front page. The bizarre thing is as well, like they all, all of these fake artists, they always have blue check marks. So they're exploiting some kind of algorithm or system to get verified quickly. Also, apparently these ghost artists, they operate on other things like Apple Music, iHeartRadio, pretty much every other audio streaming platform you can think of. But still, even though they're operating everywhere, where there's money to be made, royalties, there's not actually any kind of social media presence. So this Fedora Wilding Redditor has basically came to the conclusion that these artists pop up out of nowhere and they're probably part of a syndicated group solely for monetary gain to hoover up money that should really be going to the original artists. Now this isn't really new. This is something that's actually been going on a long time at Spotify. Like there's an article here from 2017 where Spotify themselves had to deny that they're essentially supporting and playlisting fake artists. And their cope was essentially that all these artists operated under a ghost music label, a non-existent label. But again, it's kind of weird how this no-name label that doesn't exist gets in total hundreds of millions of views and listens and streams while like more, you know, indie labels that don't get anywhere near as much. More recently as well, in 2020, there was an article basically talking about how scammers would release their songs under the names of popular artists. And this current scam going on now where it's not hijacking, but it's like a collaboration. I think it's more of an attempt to do it more on the sly. So there's less of a chance of being caught because obviously if you come onto Spotify, say your name's Kanye West and then it's just toilet music, people are going to call you out and report you in five seconds. But then if it's a collab, you've got to do more legwork there to prove that it's BS. But yeah, just goes to show as long as there's money to be made, people will stoop to any kind of low. If, if anyone's wondering what I listen to on Spotify, by the way, uh, it, it's Echo 2K at the minute. Yes, I am mentally ill. <laughs> Hey, honey pie, you ready to pucker up for the Bradster? Jackpot!